Thanks. Let's have a look at business, how the budget affected them. Nigel Botterill is a serial entrepreneur. Phil Orford is chief executive of Forum for Private Business. Nigel, the entrepreneur, did it help entrepreneurs? Were you happy, not so happy? Well, it, it hasn't harmed us, that's for sure, but at the end of the day, all, all business owners know it's, it's down to us to make things happen. The, the Chancellor's created a good, you know, done some environmental things that will help us yesterday, but uh, we've got to get on with it today and build our businesses. But the cut in corporation tax was for big business, wasn't it? Not for small business. Do you feel well, left out? No, not at all. The corporation tax will help. I mean, you know, it, 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 it's it's a positive thing for anyone owning a business. The entrepreneur's relief was a very significant step that he took yesterday, which uh, yeah, explain how that works. Explain how that works. Well, if you build a business um, over time and at some point you sell it, you're able to enjoy capital gains tax of only 10% on what is now the first £10 million worth of qualifying gains rather than £5 million worth. So anyone setting up their own business with ambitions to build it and grow it and develop it, that, that, that's a significant incentive. Because that's been one of the criticisms, isn't it, of the UK entrepreneurial culture is we sell out too early. You think this could change that? Well, I think it, I think it just makes it it makes it more attractive. There's going to be reasons for people to take risks and put them, you know, their finances and themselves on the line to build a business. Uh, if if there aren't the incentives there, people won't do it. And uh, the entrepreneurs' relief was a, a significant step in the right direction yesterday. Phil Orford from the Forum of Private Business. Uh, what's